Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today from Data Cloud Global Congress 2021. Joining me is Sean Farney, Director of Data Center Marketing for Kohler Power. Sean, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, Barb. Thanks for having me. Excited to be talking about data centers today. Yeah, this is um, our first uh, time having you on our JSA TV platform. We're super excited to have you here. Uh, And I'd love it if you could give our viewers, our audience, just a bit of an overview on Kohler Power uh, and, you know, specifically the data center division and how you guys are supporting the industry. Sure, sure. Thanks. And I, I think most of your audience will know Kohler in general, you know, for 148 years now, we've been making faucets and showers and kitchen gear and bathroom gear. Um, uh, but a few, uh, a smaller amount of people know about Kohler Power. We've been in the business for 101 years now. and We've been making generators, um, you know, for, for a long time. So one of the first in the industry and, and fast forward to today, we're, you know, we're the number three manufacturer of, of generators in the world. And we offer a, a full ecosystem of data center products. So uh, switch gear, enclosures, generators, UPS. So we can really help data center providers um, w- with all their equipment needs. So, I mean, that's a lot of history and a lot of, I mean, it makes sense that, you um, you're providing all of this given your your expertise, but why was it important to you? You know, what in what way did you want to support the data center world, the data center ecosystem? Yeah, so um, for, for the last 10 years, the importance of and global footprint of, of data centers has been expanding rapidly. It's a great story, right? You know, caters of 20% plus, a lot of private equity money um, going into the space. And it's because in, in this fourth industrial revolution that we're in today, um, no one deletes anything, um, specifically our, our, our teenage children, right? Everything stays on a phone forever and pictures and videos and Snapchats and Instagram and so on and so forth. And, and what that does on the back end is, is, is create and grow data centers. Uh, that's simply what's, what's going on. And um, the Kohler family, um, who, who's been involved um, and is still involved on a day-to-day basis in, in making strategic mm-hmm. business decisions, um, um, has decided again to, to, to boldly go in a new direction to expand business and, and product lines. So kitchen and bath, you know, check, very successful power systems, been doing that for 100 years. Now there's this, um, you know, this innovative new thought to expand and focus on data centers because of this growth and because of their role in society and culture and fourth industrial revolution and so on and so forth. So we are, we are taking this new focus on data centers and orienting our product lines uh, and the entire ecosystem of products um, really to appeal to data center operators and more specifically hyperscale data center operators. Uh, and a great example of that is our, our four megawatt generator uh, largest on the market that is geared for you know, the largest hyperscale data center operators today. So we're doing a lot of things. We're expanding our, our, our global factory uh, expansion or uh, production capabilities. Um, we're expanding space and, and, and building out new capabilities, uh, adding products and product lines really to support this data center phenomenon. Hmm. And, well, and I think you also just, you recently unveiled um, what you're calling the Global Power Partners Program. Can you talk a bit about what that means to Kohler, but more specifically, you know, what it means for your customers and the customer experience? Sure, sure. Uh, it's a great campaign um, recently released. Uh, hopefully you've seen it, or, or if not, we'll see it soon. But all we're doing is, is calling attention to our robust global capabilities around service and support. So we've got 800 distributors, 10,000 dealers, uh, 18 manufacturing locations and 15 logistics hubs around the world. And for years and years and years now, we've been producing gear and selling to customers and supporting our customers out of all those locations and, and distributions. And we're just calling it out. And, and we built the campaign really around people. Uh, it, it's, it's actually videos of our global sales team talking about customer experiences and how we can make them better. Uh, because the linchpin of great uh, of a great product experience and a great product um, and great support are, is people, right? You know, people make it 
happen. So that's the really the focus of that campaign and, and why we chose to just talk to our people about our customers and things we're doing globally and our global capabilities. Um, and um, we will continue to emphasize the importance of people in, in what we do and how we're doing it and the success of our products. Yeah, amazing. I think that, and it sounds like that fits very nicely in with just, you know, your overall approach from Kohler as a, as a whole organization, really, to the to the market, right? And It, it yeah. does. You know, it, it's um, one of the great things about Kohler. It's a, it's a privately held company, been around a long time. And, and the reason for that is, is our culture and, and what our, our company is built on. And um, you'll hear um, around Kohler and our products and, and certainly from the Kohler family, this, this idea of, of, of gracious living that's actually embodied in our mission statement. Um, we want to, for our customers, make the customer and product experience gracious. And Global Power Partner really calls that out. It's, it's our people and what we can do to be nimble and responsive to our customers, um, supporting our generators and UPS and, and enclosures and other data center products. Um, so it's a, it, it's a great tie-in, again, that goes back to people and, and what people can enable. Yeah, what a great value proposition and a great value set um, for you guys. I want to talk a little bit for for just a minute about sustainability, just to sort of shift gears uh, pretty uh, dramatically. But but you know, it's so important, it's so important to the data center industry as a whole right now, um, globally. Can you talk about Kohler's uh, position on this and how your solutions help to empower a greener future for the industry? Sure, um, I, I would say for the data center industry, it's agenda item number one right now. And we're excited to be building and engineering products around sustainability. But even at a broader level, you know, Kohler, the company up in Kohler, Wisconsin, right over there, um, sustainability is, is huge for us. Um, we're over half uh, renewable energy um, in our production, manufacturing and, and operational facilities. We've saved almost 300 billion gallons of water um, via our, our WaterSense product line uh, since we released it. And, and we've reduced our uh, landfill refuse almost by half since 2008. So Kohler as a company is focusing on sustainability, board level item, right? Um, and in the data center space, same thing. We're, we're, we're taking both a revolutionary approach to sustainability and an evolutionary approach in sustainability in the data center space. And, and what I mean by that is um, we are investigating, researching, testing, developing, producing uh, hydrogen fuel cell products, for example. This is to um, really replace or lessen the importance of uh, diesel generators in the backup power product lines for, for data centers down the road once that technology is perfected. And that's, that's a revolutionary, brand new product, uh, big change. Uh, and and we're, we're very positive about our hydrogen fuel cell uh, developments and, and the role that'll play in the industry um, going forward. Um, but we're also um, taking an evolutionary approach to sustainability in the data center space. And a great example um, is something we're working on right now. We're, we're about to publish a white paper, which will recommend a whole new way of doing test uh, and maintenance routines across the data center industry. Um, which is kind of along the lines of continuous improvement or, or an evolutionary approach to sustainability. And these new, new routines will reduce the amount of fuel burnt and our emissions by around 50% uh, better in some cases. And that's a big deal across very large scale data center deployments for, for some of our customers. Um, so we will continue to continuously improve and evolve uh, what we're doing in products while in parallel also exploring these, these revolutionary approaches, hydrogen fuel cell, very, very, very exciting. Um, we also work in partnership very closely in the US with, with the EPA um, to align and build to the, the tier four final specification. And this specification um, is used to ensure that emissions meet a certain, certain level. So our, our product set is very robust um, to meet the tier four final um, product specifications. Um, to filter air, and in some cases, um, you know, exhaust air that comes out cleaner than, than when it came in. So that's an exciting area where, where we lead and we're really proud of our products. Hmm, that's, yeah, it's so interesting to hear all of the great things you're doing. I feel like we could have a whole a separate, you know, interview and conversation on that. And 
And speaking of, of which, um, another thing I think we could probably have a whole nother conversation on with you is, you know, some of the other key uh, things and, you know, ways that the industry is evolving, um, key drivers that are impacting the data center landscape. Um, any sort of just a quick top line on that to sort of maybe <laughs> just do an intro of our, what we can talk about in the future? Thank sure, you. I'll try. It's a great fireside chat uh, for yeah, sure. Right. Hours, but we don't have hours. Um, in a word or two words, uh, digital transformation. So everyone's heard of this, right? Uh, digital transformation is a, is a technology movement um, taking place across uh, the globe in, in uh, corporate uh, in, in enterprise environments. And it really just means liberating data, making it accessible, um, allowing for nimble access to data. Um, uh, because it, it, it drives uh, innovation, it drives revenue, it drives value creation, having access to data and the insights that data give you uh, quickly. And um, so this is a board level imperative right now. Um, everyone's doing it, change or die. And what that means at the enterprise IT uh, level is migrating to cloud environments, um, specifically Microsoft's Azure product and Amazon's uh, AWS product and, and Google's um, uh, GCP product. Uh, and th those cloud environments are all at the end of the day, um, uh, just data centers, right? So digital transformation is driving massive movement to the cloud, uh, more and more data. Um, uh, today's generations don't delete anything. So that's not changing uh, and, and it's growing and it still looks like this, the, the, the rate that we consume and create data. Uh, it's really amazing. And so this tr has translated to and will continue to translate to a massive data center boom. It's been going on 10 years. Uh, it's going to go on a lot longer. Uh, the hyperscale data center providers, a small group of them, spend $150 billion US every year on building data centers. There's 600 of these hyperscale data centers today. Uh, it's increasing by 10 to 20%. Um, so it's really amazing. Um, this context of digital transformation in, in, in what it means and in, in what it does to our digital economy. Uh, and it's really a, a central part of this fourth industrial revolution. So fascinating stuff is a context um, with all kinds of great discussion points underneath. underneath hmm, it. Interesting. Yeah, I really look forward to having that conversation with you further. I mean, you've scratched the surface, but in a really, really interesting way. So I appreciate that. Um, can you just... As sort of as a parting um, note to us, you know, as we sort of wrap up this interview today, just anything we should be watching for from Kohler over the next few months, sort of short term things that we can keep our eyes out for? Yeah, we're going to continue to grow our data center specific product set and we're going to knit those things together. We really want to be a one stop shop uh, for data center customers. We want to make that you know, make for a gracious buying experience and product experience for our customers. So um, you will see some exciting uh, new product lines and um, product extensions to, to, to do that and, and help our customers um, continue to build out at this, you know, torrid pace, their data center footprints. Nice. Well, great. Thank you so much, Sean. And just as, as, as we wrap, where can we direct our viewers if they want to find out more information on Kohler and, and your support of the data center market? Sure, sure. Our, all of our information is online at, at kohlerpower.com. Uh, and I recommend uh, either, either folks can reach out to myself if, if you want to have a conversation uh, and or follow our Kohler data center LinkedIn and Twitter accounts, um, which have all of this uh, content and more on a daily basis. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sean. We really appreciate your time. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Thanks, everyone.